So I'm standing at the opening ceremony of the Ai Chongqing Gala of Times, taking place just behind me in the background. This is a big cultural event that's being held by Ai Chongqing in collaboration with some of the tourism administration agencies uh, and other cultural departments of Chongqing. So we're going to be here for a little while and uh, just explore the place and uh, see what we can find. There's supposed to be some food, uh, some like handicrafts from different parts of Chongqing, a lot of cultural stuff. So uh, yeah, we're going to check that out. Um, so first off, I'm standing in front of the International Pavilion section. There are only three countries represented here, but still, uh, it's interesting to see not only that you have the local Chongqing heritage, or the local heritage sites from Chongqing, but you actually also have representatives from overseas. So behind me are Australia, uh, Italy, and Japan. So coming into the pavilion here, it's nice and empty now because everyone is pretty much on their lunch break, which is great. So one of the famous things in Japan is that I think most people have uh, heard of at this point are these uh, shrines. And this one specifically um, is called the Itsukushima Shrine, I think. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. There's a photo of it down here. And they actually have a TV screen showing off uh, the area where that shrine is located. Another representative here is Italy. Um, Italy, of course, famous for some of its architecture. Uh, and they have one as well here. It's you know, the Longobards in Italy. Again, I'm not really good with these names. I'm hoping I'm not breaking it. And then we have Australia. This one is for the Gold Coast, a place that I've personally been to back in 2005, I believe it was. Yeah, 2005. I was in here earlier in this little photo wall thing and I've been told that some of my photos are displayed in here. Let me walk in here one more time and see if I get lucky. These are photos from overseas, not from Chongqing. From Sicil Sicily, looks like it's some of them are from South Africa. but I think it's from a local Chongqing photographer who's been to these places, sharing these photos. Of course, Chongqing is an absolutely beautiful city, especially at night, but also when you get to Chongqing on a beautiful day, when the sky is clear, you can really get some amazing photos. Absolutely a place worth visiting if you haven't been here yet. I'm not gonna walk around too long in here. I've been told my photos are on that wall. I haven't seen them yet, I've been in there a couple of times. But uh, let's make our way over to the small cultural stalls where they have different kinds of snacks, they have different kinds of handmade objects. Um, let's just have a quick look at those. So the first little booth we have here, they have these, and I've been told they're inkwells. And so basically they're hand carved, they're not decorations, which is what I thought at first. They're actually inkwells for when you do um, old style Chinese calligraphy. And so you put the ink in these and then you could hold them and then of course you dip your brush in them and then you can use them for writing. Um, very, very, very exquisite. Very, very, very beautiful. I'm gonna try and get as close as I can. Very, very, very immaculate work. Stunningly beautiful. And over here there is this little snack thing which is made from sugar and nougat maybe. It even has some nuts in it. It's not made entirely from sugar. Um, it's sweet, but it's not too sweet. Um, and let me just try and taste one of these. So I'm gonna see if I can grab one without taking too much. Here we go. So this is it. Let's try and taste this. It's a little bit like eating like powder almost that's been molded into shape. But it's nice and sweet, not too sweet. It's not pure sugar. And then there are some nuts and stuff inside of it. And the reason why this is a little bit special is because he cuts it very, very, very thin, like super thin slices. So that's cool. Now here is something that I found to be especially interesting. So again, all of this is handmade, but these are tiny, tiny, tiny carvings that actually also have letters in them. And I don't think I can get close enough to actually show them, but I'm going to try. We're gonna 
tighten this in a little bit. Let's see if we can make this work. So she gave me this little magnifying glass and you can just make out the details of these carvings. Super, super intricate. Really, really, really small. <laughs> what we also have in here is a wood carving or mostly bamboo carving. So what you have are these parasols that you often see lining the streets. Uh, they're used in old times to cover the streets if it was raining. And then they have these wind chimes made from bamboo as well. And lots of other sort of handmade carved uh, works and details. 